Hey guys, this is Gadgetcheck here, back with another video. So the problems after rooting your phone or after flashing a custom kernel, you get the yellow triangle issue. Now to remove it, you can use a simple USB jig that like the one I have right here, but most of us don't have jigs. So there is another method to it. First, get into the download mode, use a three button combo, power down, uh, sorry, uh, volume rocket down, power button and home menu key. Uh, hit them all together, you'll get into a screen, then hit the, uh, volume button up and you are successfully into the download mode connect your phone to your pc remember have keys installed in your computer so that uh, odin can recognize your device and the com port turns yellow uh, once that's done hit the pda uh, and the downloaded stock kernel use uh, that kernel as a pda in odin and flash it that is as simple uh, as I just said right now, PDA, select the stock kernel uh, and use the exact same settings on uh, Odin as I have shown in the video and hit the start button and uh, wait till Odin shows you the pass message. Don't remove your USB cable from the phone until Odin doesn't show the pass message. Right now, uh, now it's safe to remove the USB uh, cable if you guys want. Once this is done, you will. Uh, this uh, is how a fresh flash would look like and the phone will reboot uh, into the ROM itself. And there you see, no um, yellow triangle issue. Now, this is not done yet. Now, if you flash another kernel Y Odin again, the yellow triangle will appear. So, uh, after a fresh flash of the stock kernel, there is another step. Don't forget to do this step, otherwise you'll get the yellow triangle issue again. Now, connect the phone to your computer and open up the SD card of the phone itself uh, it will pop up like this once that's done uh, move move that i'll move that window aside for a minute and now uh prefer the uh, the kernel of your choice download any kernel of your choice i'm using rage mod t27 right now open it um, and uh, drag the z image into that folder and use that z image again and copy it into the sd card of the phone uh, remember extract it take the z image and put that in the phone exactly like i did on the video now, once that's done, now you have to flash the Z image via the phone itself. So I'll be using HC tools uh, and just hit the first button which says flash the image and done. You have flashed it and just reboot your phone. Yes, and that would be it. And now you will have your custom kernel without the yellow triangle issue. As you can see right now, no yellow triangle and I am on custom on a custom uh, kernel to prove that let's first boot into the ROM itself it takes some time guys so remember you can use you have to flash the Z image via the phone you can use CWM app or the HC tools app so I lock the screen right now let's go into the about phones via settings and there you go rage more t27 thanks guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more interesting